At salons everywhere, women swear by Brazilian keratins, treatments that deliver a drop-dead gorgeous do. Why did you do it? Because in this humid weather, then <laughs> I turn into a chia pet. <laughs> The sleek, smooth celebrity looks cost a few hundred, awesome. but like last her. for months. Ah, so excited. <laughs> but some of the hair smoothing products contain formaldehyde, a chemical the EPA considers a carcinogen. This week, OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, recommended stylists stop using products with formaldehyde, which goes by a number of different names. Stylist George Allen Patricio offers a gas mask to clients worried about the fumes. You don't have a problem using these products knowing they have formaldehyde in them? Well, they say they're formaldehyde free and I believe them. But regulators found the toxin even in some products labeled formaldehyde free. The Trio Salon in Chicago is now switching brands. OSHA's been in twice to measure formaldehyde levels in the store's air. Most of these uh, treatments contain a small, small amount of uh, formaldehyde in there. It's important that uh, OSHA find it safe. It's the second warning this week to women about the price of so-called perfect hair. A study by the Cleveland Clinic found that hair weaves that are too tight are a culprit in causing baldness and scarring in nearly 30 percent of African-American women. When they come like this, I, I hand over the box of tissues and I talk to them about different wigs that they can get. It's done. It's done. Wow, what do you have there? Is that a bucket of relaxer? <laughs> In the documentary Good Hair, comedian Chris Rock put the $8 billion black beauty care industry under the microscope, watching chemicals used in hair products dissolve metal. So that can's got a good perm. Maybe the hottest new trend in hair care will be one that comes warning free. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.